temperatures are starting to dip and the holidays are on the doorstep. So here with weight gain survival strategies, because you know what that means. You don't want to gain any weight. Please welcome Dr. Melissa Hirschberg. Come on up. <laughs> Everyone have a seat. It is incredible that people I find, I know with me, I don't know about you, I gain weight in the winter. Right. Why does that happen? Yeah, so winter weight gain. So first of all, it's cold. We live in Canada. Yeah. We want comfort oh. foods. You know, often warm comfort foods yeah. tend to be rich in starch and carbohydrates. Sure. Also, it's TV season. So our favorite TV shows are on. Yeah. You know, we're sitting there. We're inside in front of the TV as opposed to outside being active and doing exercise. Sure. And also That's fall right. fashion, right? So now yeah. we get to wear coats and That's sweaters and ponchos. You cover yourself up. <laughs> right. So you're not as aware. That's like in right. the summertime when you're wearing a bikini, you think like, okay, well, if I eat that, I'm not going to want to wear the bikini. Right. So, yeah. So often people... Even a one away. piece. I don't... You might wear a bikini. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it is true. It's like, yeah. it's comfort food. Like I... My favorite comfort food really in the winter, although I've not done it yet, but I'm going to do it once. Okay. Is tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah, I love okay, it Okay, that's what my mother used to make. I got to do that sometime. But, I mean, you can't have that every week, but every once in a while you can cheat a little bit, every right? Every once in a while, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And also por portion, portion, portion. So yeah. have half the grilled cheese, split it with somebody, and then you can that's have it all the time. Then you have a little bit. Yeah. So low-cal substitutes for warm comfort foods. I love this idea you're about to present. This makes so much sense. Tell us about this. Yeah, so fruits and vegetables are easy to eat in the summertime because we want those, you know, cold yeah. snacks, but in the wintertime, have them warm. So do a mashed cauliflower or do a mashed cauliflower potato mix, okay? So what you want to do is substitute one potato with half a cup of cut up cauliflower. So use any mashed potato recipe, preferably, um, you know, a low-fat recipe. Yeah, sure, sure. So if it calls for six potatoes, use three potatoes and then three cups of cauliflower, Boil the potatoes about eight minutes before they're boiled, do the cauliflower, and then follow the recipe. And don't tell your family. Yeah. <laughs> or your kids, right? No, no, don't tell. They're just sneak in the vegetable. These are new the yeah, there, there are special potatoes that I found, and this is kind of delicious. <laughs> they won't know. They won't. They won't know. Mm -hmm. um, now, how do you keep the calories down? Uh, I mean, I see all sorts of good things here. Yeah, so soups are a great thing also. Yeah. So you want to choose a broth-based vegetable soup or a miso soup. Have it as a snack or have a bowl before dinner. It will warm you up, and it will fill you up, so you'll eat less with the entree. Now, let me ask you about this. When we're talking about miso soup or even just a chicken broth, let's say, or a beef mm -hmm. uh, broth. There's a lot of salt in that. So can I, I, I dilute mine a little bit, even more than the package suggests. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just add extra water. Yeah. So that warmth will will make you not eat as much. Yeah. So it's, uh, a, it's the combination of the volume of yeah. the actual fluid. Plus, like often we eat the food because we want to warm up. So yes. if you're already warm, then you'll eat less at the actual meal. Good idea. Uh, this the, looks like dessert to me. Yeah, so yeah. fruit. So if you want to have a warm fruit to Bake it. So you can do apples and pears work really well. So all you have to do is core them. And so this example here, what you've done is you've taken the core out and you've left a little well. Right. Put about a teaspoon of butter. Um, you can do some slivered almonds, some like uh, a tiny bit of brown sugar and cinnamon. Bake it in the mm -hmm. oven at like 350 for 15 minutes and you've got a nice warm low calorie dessert. That's great. Same thing with your frozen berries. So in the summer we make smoothies. In the winter you can actually warm them up in the microwave or like in a saute pan and combine it with Greek yogurt. That's really oh, nice. that's so nice. Yeah. So now it's time for the Thanksgiving feast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Does your plate look like this? Wait. Yeah, yes. exactly. Okay. <laughs> I think it, uh, a long time ago my plate looks like this, but this is pretty amazing. So let's talk about the breakdown of this plate because this is part of the reason why we gain weight in the wintertime, these darn holidays, and right? these dinners, exactly. And these dinners, yeah. The typical Thanksgiving dinner has 3,000 to 5,000 calories, okay? So that's, a, yeah, that's a lot. And so that's more than we need. <laughs> well, you're not saying a thing. These guys are groaning over here. <laughs> I'm wondering about them. They're going, that us. We're good. Okay. Yeah, so, so tell me about that. Yeah. Exactly. So where do those calories come yeah. from? Okay, well, first let's start with the wine. So this here is two glasses of wine. Actually, this is probably four glasses of wine because they're filled up really high. But that's fine. So that's 400 calories right there. 400. Yeah. Then you're going to get to your plate. Okay, so here we've got the turkey. So here's a mix of white and dark meat. Okay, about six ounces. That's about 350 calories covered with half a cup of gravy. That's another 150 to 200 calories. Then we got half a cup of cranberry sauce, another 200 calories. A cup of mashed potatoes, 300 calories. Half a cup of stuffing, another 200 calories. With gravy on it. Exactly. Our dinner roll and butter, 150 calories. Oh, and there's a few green beans there. But <laughs> yes. That's the average. And that's about, so this will run you about 1,600 calories. And then... 
you finish it off with a piece of pecan pie and some whipped cream, that's another 600 calories. So this whole thing, oh. 2,200 calories. Yeah, that's, that's a that, lot. That's, that's crazy. And that's okay. omitting the fact that you might have seconds and appetizers, <laughs> right? How could you have seconds after having that? Oh, I've seen but I've seen it. I've seen yes. it too. Okay, so so let's talk about your ideal thing to do, right? Because this is like yeah. So what you can ideal, do instead, like I see something underneath there, and that looks pretty good to me. Yeah. So here's it's like it's enough. You know, a compromise. Yeah. Okay. So six ounces of just white meat turkey. Right. So get rid of the skin. Get rid of the dark meat. You're down to 200 calories. Gravy and cranberry sauce should be used for flavor and color, but that's it. One mm -hmm. tablespoon each. Okay? okay. It's just about 50 calories. For your carbs, you can have them, but I would say no more than about a quarter cup of potatoes and a quarter cup of stuffing. And a nice rule is to think that four tablespoons equals a quarter cup. So put, when you serve it onto your plate, serve, use your regular tablespoon and just serve four, and that's it. Okay, and four that's bites better, and you're yeah. done. Yeah. Okay, so four bites of each. Right. Uh, and then fill the rest up Load with veggies. Up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, and I see more vegetables on that plate. Yeah. I see color on that plate. Exactly. That's so good. So, but be careful. Like, if you're not the one cooking the dinner and the vegetables look really greasy and oily, then also mm -hmm. watch the portion of those because have a roll be... of uh, have a roll of paper towel. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that aunt of mine, she loved right. that. Now, what about the pie? Oh, right. Don't okay. forget about the pie. Yes, I love you pumpkin can still pie. Have don't dessert. you? Okay. Okay. If you swap it out, and if you have the pumpkin pie instead of the pecan pie, and if you avoid the whipped cream, you'll only set yourself back about 100 calories and skip the crust. Yeah. yeah. So pumpkin pie is actually not that not that caloric. Not that caloric. I'm no. happy to hear that. So what's the total on this one? So the total here, we're looking at for the dessert plus the dinner, about 725. That's pretty yeah. good. So that's a lot. Now, she looks like this for a reason. <laughs> so we said, please tell us what else you do yeah. to look like this, okay? So you say, if you're going to go to Thanksgiving yeah. dinner or out for dinner, wear tight clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wear tight clothes. No, no. Okay, so. <laughs> but really, tight-fitting clothes yeah. because... So don't go to Thanksgiving dinner and think, oh, I'm going to wear sweatpants or a baggy dress <laughs> so that I don't get full. Instead, wear something fitted, and that way, like, your waist slide, like, it will tell you when you've eaten too much. If it starts to feel tight, you're done. Yeah. Right? You know yeah. what I'm doing, but... That's right. Let's just say that you didn't do well. Yeah. <laughs> that you watched the show, you saw what the doctor had to say. Now it's the day after, and you feel like, well, guilty, okay? But it was a fun time with the family. Joe and I will talk about that later on in the show. Let's talk about what you do to not have that, you know, that incremental weight right. gain, right? So the most important thing here is you don't want to use one slip-up as a launch pad for more winter weight right, gain, right. okay? You just need to erase it. So what you want to do is follow up that with two days of low-calorie, paleo-style eating, mm -hmm. meaning low starch. So I'll give you an example of what a day would look like. Start off with an omelet, so use one whole egg and the rest egg whites. You can use two or three. Saute it in some cooking spray with spinach, mushrooms, your favorite vegetables, and have a glass of unsweetened almond milk. Breakfast. Fills you okay? up. Yeah. Yep. Lunch. Big salad. All your greens, and then, you know, some bell pepper, some mushrooms, some cucumbers, some tomato, a full breast of chicken or any protein you want in there, and some sun, um, sunflower seeds, and maximum one or two tablespoons of dressing. Is your lunch. Okay, what's your favorite dressing? Like, you put a little olive and lemon, or yep. what do you do? I love a lemon pepper vinaigrette. Okay. So I like to do olive oil and then just squeeze, um, freshly squeeze lemon. Oh, nice. So equal parts and then lots of cracked black pepper and maybe a bit of garlic. Okay, very good. And then for dinner? Yeah, for dinner, there's what no you snacking do, here. Okay. No snacking. No yeah. snacking. So you can snack on, you know, Perrier, soda water, mm -hmm. tea. That's what you want to be drinking. The consomme soup or the miso soup. That's true, that's true, yeah. So, like, the fluids. And then for dinner, you want to do a protein. So here, like a piece of salmon. And I would even say this is a little bit too big. Yeah, this is for two people. I'd yeah, say like that. That's, that's the big. portion right right there. Yeah. Right there, right? Exactly. Yeah, okay. So you want to do one piece of salmon, or mm -hmm. you could do like a lean red meat or a breast of chicken, a sweet potato, and some steamed vegetables. And don't waste calories on your vegetables. Just steam them so you can do like green beans, broccoli, asparagus, yeah. and just a little salt and pepper and just some fresh lemon. Yeah. And what, what is it about the sweet potato that's so good? And you can have that with whoever you live with if you'd like. Yeah. But what is it about that's so good about? It's a lot of fiber, right? Yeah, so sweet potatoes um, are a little bit more nutritious than just a white potato because you get all the beta carotene in the orange yeah. part. And they've got more fiber, which fills you up. And yeah. it's a lower glycemic index, so it won't spike your blood sugar. But you can have dessert. Exactly, and then you can just bake your apple or bake Yay! your pear. Yeah, so it's actually sweet. pretty tasty. Yeah, yeah, and look at this delicious water. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. You're just going to sell it. 
we go, boy, this is so good. Yeah. I'm going to be so thin in two days, just like Dr. Hirschberg. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Melissa Hirschberg. Always good to get information.